Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video here. Today, I am just so excited. I cannot hold my excitement in like the way I'm feeling. Candle Day Super Bowl for Bath and Body Works is tomorrow, but I do have a big butt. Okay. <laughs> I really do have a big butt though. <laughs> Oh my God, let me just start all over. <laughs> I was going to edit that out of, of there, but we're going to keep it in. And now let's keep moving. The thing I wanted to say was that if you guys are on the app, I hope you guys are on the app and I hope you guys have downloaded that to your phones and that you're part of the member exclusives because uh, the prices are, as I know if you're on here and you're watching Bath & Body Works, you probably know it already, but the price is for the candles $10.25. Thank you to Tiffany Vanessa for bringing it out there yesterday a little bit early, you know, and then all these prices were being said here and there. It was just all over the place. It's like, it's been a big mess, but either way, the prices for the three wick candles are $10.25 for candle day, which it's honestly that part's not that exciting that's the big butt i was talking about not mine <laughs> but anyways um yeah so yeah the prices are ten dollars and 25 cents and that's not so exciting anymore and i don't have a 20 percent off coupon like many of you guys do i have the ten dollars off and that's it so i'll be able to just use that at the store one time and you can't, from what I've heard, stack your coupons. I don't know if some stores will do that, but I know that my store won't. So you won't be, I mean, I guess you could do separate transactions, but you can't stack your coupons. So uh, what is the other thing I wanted to say? So with that price of $10.25, I feel like at least to me, candle day is not that exciting. If I wasn't out there, cause I am gonna work that day, I'm gonna be there at opening. So I'll be one of the first ones there. And um, yeah, I'm not too excited. I don't think that I would go out because any times that they have the buy to get to free, I'll just participate in that as opposed to getting up so early to try to be there first and try to, and then the candles they have out, there's some good ones, but it's not like I feel besides Paris Cafe. I know all of you guys are going to be out there for that one. I feel like there's not that many like super, super good ones that I can't live without or that I may not be able to get online. I think that you will be able to get several of these candles online. The ones I have not seen online into the night and in the stars. I did not see those online, so I don't know if they will pop now, up. The next thing that I always go into my videos really quickly, I forgot in the last one, sorry. The lipstick I'm wearing today, it is this Mil Milani Nude Cream one. I've worn this one several times on here. And the lip gloss is one of my new ones that I bought from the Fenty, from Sephora. It's Fenty Beauty. And I thought I had this one, but this is a uh, new and improved, I guess you could say. Fenty Glow, because I do have, that's one of like, the first ones, lip glosses that she came out with. But this one is called Fenty Glow Fantasy. And I missed that the last time. And it just, I really love her lip glosses. I always say that. That's that one. This is the palette I used last, I've been using since I got it. Every single day that I've done my makeup, I've used this palette right now. The Pat McGrath, the name is so long. Just look for this one. <laughs> okay, at Sephora. Put Pat McGrath, new palette that came out. It'll come up. I dropped this. The color that I have on my eyelids is this one right here. I dropped this, and I don't know if you guys can tell, like, part of it is out. I dropped it on my floor. I was doing my makeup, and as I was going in, like, if it just fell, but it's okay. And then in the crease, you guys know I've been using this brown one, if you've been watching, and then this one on the outer V. And yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Okay, let's get into the haul. Now the exchanges. I had to get some candles. Some of the new candles are out at my store. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, okay, I want some of the new ones. So what did I take in? Okay, remember the, in the gift box, the perfect Christmas candle? I really hated the way that one looked. I went and exchanged that one. Even if I would have exchanged it for the same, um, basically the same candle, 
I just didn't like the way that candle looked. So I exchanged that one. And then some of my doubles of the recent order from the buy three, get three from Black Friday. I don't know. That, I exchanged a couple of those out. And I figured when I put my next order in, at least I have, I still have one of all of them. I can uh, repurchase. But I wanted some of the new ones that are in the store. And let's just start with this one right here. So we have... Look at this. I like the color. It's like a, to me, I would, I'm going to say it's like a purpley pink color. I don't know. It's probably more purple. But either way, this is, those are like my two favorite colors, purple and pink, pink being number one. I just love this one. So this is from the Give Cheer or Give Thanks collection. I don't know what the collection is called. I should know it. Strawberry spark, Sparkler. So this strawberry sparkler, the scents are strawberry prosecco, splash of rose water, vanilla bean with natural essential oils. I should stop saying the last part. I like the way this one smells. <laughs> one of the girls in my store, she hates it. She called it like an old lady scent. I guess I'm an old lady. But yeah, I was like, I hadn't smelled it when she was explaining it to me because it was still like in the back room. This was like last week and now they're out and I, I, went, I didn't go to the back room. I was just like, I forgot about it. Oh my God, it smells so good to me. Okay, but let me explain. It's very heavy on the Prosecco note. So it has this very heavy champagne note and you can smell, I feel like a mixture of the strawberry with the rose. The rose is in there and I don't smell the vanilla bean. But yes, it's basically really heavy on the champagne note. I don't mind it. I like it. And then it has a rose note on it. So maybe if you don't like rose scents, you will not like this one. And I think that's why she called it an old lady scent. Now thinking about it. Because rose maybe is... Either way, I still like it. This is so good. Okay, so that's this one. Let's move on. We have fresh winter air right here. I like the packaging on these. I really do. We didn't have, I don't know what the name of that peach color one is for this collection. It didn't come to our store, so I don't have that one, just to let you know. The notes on this one is Zesty Citrus Fresh Peppermint Cold Evergreen. And it's heavy, I would say, on that evergreen note. It, it kind of reminds me, it's not exact because I was pairing them together, but they're very familiar. That evergreen candle that Bath & Body Works has is very similar to me in, in that one. The, so if you don't like evergreen candle, you will not like this one because it's so heavy on the evergreen. I hardly get that zesty citrus and even peppermint. Hold on. I really don't feel like at least me, my nose does not recognize the peppermint in this one. Just a lot of the evergreen note in here. Okay. And I don't like this one that much. But I still wanted it because I wanted to put the collection together. You guys know I do that. Anyways, so that's not one that I would recommend unless you love the evergreen candle. But it's really basically heavy like on a tree scent note. Yeah. And so if you like that, go ahead and get it. But I got it even though I didn't like it as much. <laughs> so we have mahogany vanilla. We have this one. Mahogany Vanilla. I really like this one. And this is like a manly cologne scent. Obviously, it has a name Mahogany in there. But the vanilla brings and tones it down um, to a level that is not too strong, but strong enough. Like, there's been some of you guys, I think, that say, oh, I don't like the Mahogany Teakwood and some of those candles because they're too strong for me. Some people love that. Some people don't. So if you're one of the ones that don't doesn't love that, you probably will like this one. But honestly, in the notes, it doesn't have mahogany in it it has warm vanilla fresh bergamot and sweet sandalwood but basically with that sweet sandalwood it it still has like i would say a cologne vibe to it and even though it doesn't say mahogany it's probably in here or something it's just a oh and you can the thing is that you can smell the vanilla in here i feel in a lot of sense sometimes especially with stronger notes i can't detect or pick out the vanilla but in this candle right here i can i totally can like when i open it i can detect both like cologne scent and the vanilla pulling it in to be a little bit sweeter i really like this one Oh, I really, I really do like this one. So the last one that I have from this collection is this one right here. 
marble chocolate cupcake. I'll tell you what it reminded me of, but being on Tiffany's Live, I forgot the name um, that Sneeko the Diva. Please guys follow her. She is so knowledgeable when it comes to these candles and candles in general. Like she makes candles um, for business as well and all of that. So she's very knowledgeable. Follow her. Um, I don't remember, Sneeko, which one you said that it reminded you of. But for me, because I don't have the one that you named, I had the, which one? Oh my God. And I forget the name. Ice cream milkshake from last year. Was that cookies? Hold on. My brain cannot think, but I got to think hard right now. I don't know. The cookies ice cream milkshake one from last year. The one that everybody was after and at first I think it had sold out and then finally for SAS they had like a whole bunch. I got one of those and just from scent memory because I don't have it in my collection anymore. That's what this one reminded me of. And it's so good, but I'm pretty sure it's not exact. Like smelling it right now, I get more chocolate. I'm just trying to think back. But either way, the notes on this one is sweet cocoa. Yes, you get the cocoa. You get the milk chocolate topped with vanilla glaze. And that vanilla glaze gives it the sweetness that is so good in this candle. I, if you basically though, like if you love that candle from last year, if that was your kind of candle, I think you will love this one. But it is different. And then even like I said, Sneakle Diva said it is like a repackage, but it's one that I've never had. So that's pretty good. So Sneakle, if you watch this video, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know so I can pin it. Um, which one you said that it reminded you of um, from the ones you have in your collection or that you've had. So this is a really good one. I recommend it. Now, one of the last ones I exchanged out was, and by the way, well, you guys know, I already told you. All the ones I exchanged out were brand new, not burned at all. They could resell them. And in fact, one of the girls like, you're exchanging these online exclusives on the three, was it three or four? Four that I had took you. And I was like, she's like, you don't like them? I was like, no, I like them. I just want these newer ones. And I have a double at home. So I figured um, that I would just do that. But yes, <laughs> so we have Red Velvet Cupcake. Did I even tell you? Because I'm over here talking. It's going to the notes. Red Velvet Cupcake has Lush Red Velvet Cake cream cheese frosting, and sweet vanilla. Now, I do love red velvet cake, okay? And I eat it all the time, you know, whenever I don't make it. I can buy it, though. Anyways, <laughs> I don't, it's like, does it put me, like, if I was to smell this and I read it saying red velvet cupcake, would it make me think of red velvet cup cupcake? No. For me, at least, no, it would not. But it would make me think of a cake, like a cupcake, like that sweet vanilla frosting. That's what I smell in here. I smell the vanilla. I smell the sweetness from the frosting. And that's the notes that I get the most. Oh, I don't smell any chocolate, which I think some people have said. Oh, yeah, maybe a small hint, but I really kind of, I don't smell it. But this smells good. Like this is a sweet, really sweet, good candle. Like definitely a bakery gourmand scent. And well, I do love the plaid packaging as well. They did really well with this packaging. But I think even on candle day, you're not going to be able to be too picky and be looking like too deeply into these maybe because it's going to be crazy busy. So we'll see. I know a lot of us go into, we want to look at the wicks and these are perfect to me as far as their placement. Yeah, but I don't know if we're going to have time for all that. We might just be grabbing candles and we're going to get what we're going to get and move on. But yeah. Okay. So from that same box, you guys have noticed if you watched um, in the gift thanks box, the one I bought for $40 with all those items and I exchanged to this one. So it's the same because I want to gift that little set of the Pure Wonder, which it has the lotion, the shower gel, and this. And I didn't want to gift this one not matching with the shower gel. So I went and I just swapped them out and I just said, I just basically, I like, I told my manager the truth. I said, I don't like how the color of these like are different. And you know, if you wanted to do that, I guess you can do that too. I'm not sure why Bath and Body Works did that. Um, that is not cool in my book. So yeah, I went ahead and exchanged it because I want um, the little set to look nice and look the same and I don't want the colors to look off. It's just that bothered me. So let's go into the next bag. This is from the 40% off sale. I bought more gift bags because I've already gifted actually the gift bags that I bought guys I've already gifted those like I've already given some gifts out like 
the coaches for my son's soccer teams. I gave them a gift and I used the brown one because I didn't even have this one. So let me show you. I got this one this time. I could have gave them this one, but I gave that one. And then um, anyways, and then the other Merry Christmas one, I already gave someone an early Christmas gift because they came from out of state and they were leaving. So I just gave it to them and I already used that. So here is this bag and it was with the 40% off and it's usually $350. i am not doing the math right now. Receipt somewhere in the bag, but yeah, uh, it was a good price. Even at $350, to tell you the truth, I would still buy these bags. Um, so we have them this is one of my favorites and it's just like so cute so i bought two of these right here because um the elementary school teachers it was two that i need to give a gift to i'm gonna give it in this one so that's what i'm gonna do and it's like a whole red theme as well the gifts that i'm gonna give them so and then i bought two of these so i already showed you one here's the second one and these i think is more is gonna be more for males in my opinion Either way, it doesn't matter. You can give it to whoever. But that's just the way I'm thinking for those here. Now, I was waiting on doing this video so I can start using these already. So I bought this, um, the snowman soap holder just so that I can uh, put it in my hallway bathroom. I'm already, like, I already have a curtain that matches. It says Merry Christmas, and it's exactly these colors. It has black, white, and red. I love it. So I'm going with this theme. And then the snowman that I'm using for a candle holder is the one wick one, which looks like this, but it's clear. Like, it has that clear, you can see through, um, like, kind of faceted collection looking, clear um, see-through thing. But yeah, so I'm... I bought these two at the 40% off price. Original price is $24.95. You guys know I have the Slays too, but I was waiting on that Slay candle holder, the three wick one. That hasn't been in my stores. And so I haven't been able to buy that one so I can decorate my bathroom in my room with the two Slay like soap holders and then that Slay candle holder. That would be really nice. That's what I would want in my bathroom. So I'm still waiting on um, putting those out, but I think I might just have to put the Slays in see what candle holder I'll put in the center um so yeah so we have this here and let's see now we have some wallflower plugins yes of course and let me tell you before I pull them out because I'm looking in my bag I got some more polar bears these um the pocket back holders the yeah I'm sorry every time I see those I want to buy them all uh, but I didn't but I did buy like five more I think yeah I bought five more these are just way too cute. And at 40% off, they came out to $2.38. I'm going to do, I'm going to copy you, Kimbo. Yes. I'm going to do what she did where she has a little tree that she decorated these with. And I'm going to put at least three or maybe even five on the tree. Yes, I'm going to go. My tree is up now. And I would, like I said, I needed to do this video so I could start putting stuff away and I can hang these on my tree. This is the cutest thing ever to me. And guess what, guys? If you have the older version of the um, AirPods, you can have one as your airpod case let me show you that right now i have the older airpods i don't have the newer ones my boys and my husband have it i have the older ones they basically gave that to me and bought new ones for themselves okay so let me show you here is the airpods the older version i think this is like the first version of the airpods so it's basically the size of in fact when i'm using looking for these inside my purse and i have other pocket back um uh sanitizers i end up getting the pocket back sanitizers instead of this but look so we're gonna put it in here i didn't think of this by the way someone on facebook i don't remember who i just saw it and they said it i was like oh that is cute look it so i can use this as a holder for my airpods this is so cool at least me because i don't have the newer ones so yeah i'm gonna be using one from the other ones i have as a holder for this here and then maybe i won't lose it inside my i'm not gonna leave it outside the purse i'd be too scared this is gonna open up and fall out but yeah i'll have one outside one inside so there you go holder for your older airpods now i got this which is more valentine but i'm gonna use it during valentine the heart wallflower plugin look at this is so beautiful to me this is just so beautiful the color i love this so much at 12 dollars and 50 cents 40 percent off why not i usually buy it at that price anyways but definitely you guys if you have rewards go ahead and use your rewards for things like this this is just so nice i'm going to use this one in the month of february
and I got some other pink ones. Maybe I will use this one as well for that month. I don't remember. I don't know if this is like new, new. I don't remember seeing it before, but when I saw this one in my store, I just really obviously love the color. And so I got this one as well for $12.50. I'm not going to use this one right now. I'm thinking in January I'll switch it to this because I've been put, switching mine out to the Christmas ones. So here's that one. And then I wanted to show you the blue one that I have that I grabbed just a couple of weeks ago. These are cute. I really like these. And I think these are, you know, not the good thing about these is not necessarily any holiday or anything like that. You can just use them whenever. So there's that one. Not that you can't use your other ones if you wanted to, but if it's really holiday themed like this one right here, it kind of be weird. But I got the gnome as well. I like the light of ones, but when I saw this gnome, I was like, I got to get it too. And this one is $14.50. It doesn't even light up. Why is this one more expensive? Because it's a gnome. But yeah, that is the last thing that I got. What do you guys think about this gnome? Do you guys like him? I think he's kind of cool, but he's not that cool. But I still bought him. I'm crazy. All right, friends, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure what time this is being edited because I need to go into the stores too. I want to film another video for you guys on candles, what candles I recommend, which ones I love. And uh, yeah, that is what I'll be doing today. And we'll see if I can upload these all in this day, even if it's like at midnight. I don't think I'll be getting any sleep because I actually have to show up at work at 3 a.m. and i am getting too old for staying up all night yeah so. until the next one you guys i love you thank you for listening to me ramble because i really did a lot of that today more than usual because of the excitement of candle day being in just a few hours but until tomorrow friends no later you guys should come and watch all my videos by the way just to let you know in case i forget to say it in another video i don't know that i'm gonna upload tomorrow it just depends on how tired i am going to film at least like a walkthrough of my store before i'm gonna try to do it obviously before we open so i'm gonna do that um show you that but if i can upload it in the same day i will probably be able to upload it upload it after i rest on saturday and then or hopefully sunday so we will see but again, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Bye. See you guys later.